ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome aboard, welcome aboard. Tonight is the night when things heat up for virtual reality esports league how you doing my name's pig pig on pc in 4k and folks we are running on a little bit of a delay so you won't be seeing this until about a minute after it's already happened but i want to let you guys know we are working on correcting the title as we speak havoc glitch versus outcasts oh my god wes is on top of it bro wes is on top of it thanks brother all right How's everybody's night going? Welcome aboard, welcome aboard. This is the very first stream now that we are back from Augmented Worldwide Expo. My oh my, what a game. What a day that was. What a few days it was, actually. Um, you know, they actually, speaking of speaking of games here, guys, I'm, I'm sitting here looking for the match right now. They said they got it going. I don't see it. That's A-OK. -okay. Uh, we're going to give it another sec here. But, oh, I do see it now. See, guys, I should have just said that a little bit sooner. Kind of kind of set the stage right there. Sweet, dudes. Anyways, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. First game back after the conference. If you guys haven't gotten a chance to see it, Nutmeg, VTAC, um, Damage, Disratory, Pesky Cashew, and myself, um, we were just the freaking dream team out there, guys, and we had such a great time representing Virtual Reality Esports League as well as all the other sponsors and affiliates. Um, damn, dude, it was just such a kick-ass time. We'll talk more about that throughout the night, guys, but for now, let's jump into the game because I am looking right now at a few players who are looking to try to make their name and fame tonight, baby. Let's go. Come on. All right. All right. And here it is right here, right now. You hear that grenade coming out as Disney J tosses one very far with a solid two and four 0 0.5 KD already 766 on the points. He is our top dog when it comes to the game as we speak. Uh, let's see what Dream Breezy's up to. Dream's out there right now, actually. Uh, looking to hopefully... Oh, gosh, I see the team names are still still incorrect over there. That's okay. That's okay. We'll get that fixed for you. We'll get that fixed. But um, we're right on board right now with Dream. One and three. Make that almost a two and three. 960 on the overall points right now. Looking to, uh, looking to pick himself up an extra kill here. Will that grenade prove lethal? Actually, the answer was no. Uh, but... But, looks like he did back out of there just in the nick of time. Unfortunately, he did meet his maker there. As Mind Baker. Already 9-3 on the KDs. Holy crap, guys. Let's ride on board with Mind Baker. There we go. And now we are going to go ahead and get those uh, team names situated for you here. And I, I we, we got a beautiful poll sitting out there for you with 67% of the votes already on Outcasts. Guys, who do you think's going to take this one all the way up to the championship level? Who's going to play their damn hearts out tonight? Huh? Huh? If you can hear my voice right now, I need you. I need you right now to raise your hands into the air. Okay, I don't care how ridiculous you look. I don't care if you're freaking laying in bed with your gosh darn mama. You are going to put your darn hands in the air and express yourself however you feel fit. Because, boys, if Havoc wins this, and you guys call it this early on, I mean, if Outcasts win... Oh, it's 50-50 right now, dudes. It's 50-50. Canadian right here. We're on board with Canadian Blummer. He's out here swinging it, doing his best, doing his damnedest dirty work. And I am throwing on the uh, first-person cams quite a bit here just so that way I can get the team names updated. There we go. There we go. There we go, baby. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Trace, give us a little hype music for this game. All right, all right, folks, all right. Or TBG, he was trying to work with me there up until the bitter end of the start of the game there, and I was just like, dude, dude, we gotta, we gotta get everything fixed up here, you know? And luckily now we've got all the team names situated. He was fantastic, by the way. It's, it's always, it's always easy to work with him uh, in the DMs. 
but um, in, in terms of getting a game started. But um, I, what I want to do right now is I want to take a quick peek over at uh, my... Oh, golly. Good grief. They're all dead. It's all up to Danny right now. Let's get on board here with Danny. Danny, the lone soldier for Havoc. Unfortunately, hitting his deck as Cisco Tech manages to pop him in the head from across the map here. Guys, already on the next objective with an 80 to 68 on the overall ticket count. 1% of the way through this one. Very, very exciting stuff. There we get a little glimpse of Wade Mark or Wade Merck just coming on in, setting up booby traps here on the base. Tossing out those grenades. What we were going to do before is get on board with Mindbaker. Let's go ahead and do that now. I want to see what old Mindbaker's got in store for us. You guys think he's going to be competitive tonight, Mindbaker? Let's hear it. Still 50-50 on the overall poll right now. I can't believe that. You guys are really, uh, you guys are really tying it up. All right, folks. All right, backing it up here a little bit. Back down on the camps here as we see TBG Dog 15 moving in. And uh, to take a quick peek at his score, it looks like he's rocking out there with a solid 14 and 7 before he actually hit the deck there thanks to Disney J. Now, Dream Breezy seems to be the top points scoreman, uh, at least for the Havoc team. 1,853, now going to get a little bit of backup there on the backside thanks to Mind Baker. 15 and 8, by the way, right now. Uh, that does make him the single most lethal player in the game. Mind Baker. Very good stuff so far. Very good stuff indeed. You see him actually taking some shots there. What's Mind going to do? Is he going to is he going to move out? Is he going to give up that cover? Or is he going to get to an all-new position and possibly become even more lethal? Looks like Hulk smash went down courtesy of Mind Baker. And finally, Cisco Tech makes his appearance also managing to go down to Mind Baker. Wade and Mike, uh, oh God, Wade Merck though. Guys, we've, we've, we saw Wade come in here a little bit ago and he was trying his damnedest, but unfortunately just couldn't pull it off. But maybe now that he's got the, the backup of Canadian and Disney J, maybe now he'll be able to make his presence. Unfortunately, the answer was no, as every single Outcasts member goes down. Mighty proxy here. Alongside Danny. Speaking of proxies, guys, let's talk about Proxy Mad Man. Oh man, that's a quality ass product right there, guys. During uh, Augmented Worldwide Expo, they, they sent us out some completely custom, beautiful looking proxy mats. And my goodness, my goodness, let me tell you something. Them mats, them mats were quality. Uh, now, speaking of quality, we saw right there as Canadian Plumber managed to perform a great looking headshot on Danny. Now just going to lay out a little booby trap of his own with that grenade. Heading out, though. Where's Canadian going? Let's get on board with the man. Now, also, the Hwaf was so courteous Ugh! to make us an ice cold G Fuel. And Mad Dog, oh my god, Juice Crack, you beautiful son of a gun. Thank you so much for that tier one sub right there to Mad Dog, the dog, you dog, you beautiful son of a gun. Cannot believe it. You thought you were going to slip through the craps, but Juice Crack, let, let me tell you something, bro. Nothing slips through the craps. Nothing. All right, I appreciate you. And so does every single other member right here, right now at VREL, bro. Gifting that sub. You're unfreaking believable. Back on board with Canadian, but it looks like it's Danny who's actually going to be taking the grunt of the fire here. I'm going to watch him on board here. Let's see what he does. Get inside of the head of Danny as we drink a little fuel. And that fuel is leaking. But where? Oh, mama. Right there. That was a quick one, guys. That's just inevitable proof. That gunshots are won and lost in a matter of milliseconds. Guys, we've talked about this, this, little, this little line before. And they talk about it a lot on, uh, on, on uh, a couple of YouTube channels. Uh, Active self-protection, for instance. But gunfights are won and lost in milliseconds. And uh, here's just a prime example of that. Oh, game audio went away, huh? Okay. Cool one, guys. That's just see. inevitable proof. What the hell's that about? That gunshots are won and lost in a matter of milliseconds. 
guys, we've talked about this this little this little line before, and they talk about it a lot on uh, on on uh, a couple of YouTube channels. Uh, Active self protection, for instance, but gunfights are won and lost in milliseconds. And uh, here's just a prime example of that. So, fellas, lady fellas, you've still lost the game audio. If that's if I'm not mistaken, you aren't hearing any gunshots. Which is unfortunate because it's obviously. It's obviously a, a key part of the game. So uh, we're going to continue to work on that. In the meantime, guys, what I want you to do is I want you to recognize the current scores, guys. Dream Breezy's out here dreaming big with 2,590 points, only a 4 and 12, 0 0.33, so to speak, on the KDs. Guys, not too shabby, but Mighty Proxy's out here in a close second place. Make that a first place now. Take it over the top points as well as, wow, no, not the top KD by any means, actually. Never mind on that one. But uh, seriously doing some hard work, leg work out here, in fact. And we can see that the objective is being captured here with Mind Baker. Now, going for glory, we're going to ride on board with him for a moment, and we're going to continue to uh, troubleshoot that in-game audio for you because your experience here with us tonight is just as important as anything else as Hulk Smash manages to prove that he is an absolute lethal dominatrix on the battlefield. I am hoping to see him continue that reign of terror. Tosses himself in a grenade, not going to make good contact with anybody. In fact... If uh, team damage was on, he would have just hurt his own teammate there. Disney J pushes in and does take the grunt of the fire from Mighty Proxy. Also manages to get a line of sight on Hulk, but does not manage to successfully execute. Now, unfortunately, Danny does prove more lethal than every single Outcasts member right there. Very unfortunate for them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're looking at Canadian Plumber here as we begin to wrap up round number one of this fantastic uh, and very, very competitive round here that I'm seeing between Havoc and Outcasts. Uh, only about 12 tickets remaining for the Outcast team. Now, that does not mean that they're out of the fight by any means. I mean, they're 56 on the enemy team. Havoc now, you know, they are going to have quite a home stretch advantage. They've got a good lead there uh, is what I'm saying. But if they aren't careful, they very well could go down. Uh, so just play your, play, your, play your cards carefully here for the last couple of minutes, and let's see exactly what happens here. Actually, there we go with Cisco Tech hitting the deck, guys. The, uh, the Outcast crew is just going to want to be a lot more careful as they approach the end here just to try to whittle away as best as they can uh, at their enemies. In fact, we haven't gotten a chance to talk much about them, but Disney J, Disney J's out here, guys, as a top dog. Let's get, on, let's get on board with Disney. I'd love to see him make a great play here at the very end. They continue to troubleshoot that in-game audio for you. Uh, fantastic stuff, though. Seriously is. Mm. <laughs> okay, I've got a new idea. I think I've got a backup idea on how we can fix this. Uh, so I found the problem, guys. The problem is that the audio from my stream card has stopped. But you know what? When in doubt, you can always make a new virtual audio input and make that secondary PC source. And worry about that behind the scenes while you give people a fine final five fantastic show here. Guys, only six tickets remaining. Let's look at the final scores. Where are they at right now? Can we get some hype music here, Tracy? Dream Breezy, 7 at 13, 3,970 points. Wow. Dream is really dreaming big. But the final five countdown begins now. All the way down to four remaining for Outcast Skies. This is it. Two remaining. This is it. One remaining. Canadian Plumber. 
They're in the thick of it for the last one, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Outcasts drops down to the deck. Let's bring it up. All right, ladies and gents, here's a good little replay for you. A beautiful replay that was, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as round number one between Outcasts and Havoc is now complete. Folks, uh, unbelievably, Havoc has gone out there and successfully just absolutely sweeped the field, guys. It was about a 50-point lead, and of course, that doesn't really mean everything. As you know, I mean, things are bound to change. You know, people are going to get out there. People are going to get... Uh, uh, rowdy people are going to be trying their best and um, just because they lost in round number one doesn't mean that they're out of the game by any means I mean this is a four round game you know what I'm saying unless there's a tiebreaker guys there's a lot of gaming still to be done that's what I'm saying so um, I want to check out with those votes that you guys put in here real quick let's see what happened with that it's all gone now that's a okay fellas that's a okay but hopefully uh, hopefully a lot of you made some seriously good investment opportunities out there so, um, as far as the in-game audio goes, guys, we are going to figure that out. Don't you worry. You're pretty little pickles on that. Um, just put that out of your head. Pretty soon, you guys are going to be enjoying in-game audio like you've never heard before. Just some of the most crisp audio you've, you've ever honestly seen in your, in your gosh darn life. Um, and that's a fact. No. No. Now, ladies and gents... My question to you is, as we enter round number two here, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think you man I mean, do oh God, do you think Havoc is going to manage to actually smack down against Outcasts? Or do you think Outcasts is going to start getting amped up a little bit? Do you think they're going to start using that energy? And maybe hopefully, before Havoc gets out of control, Outcasts can kind of uh, reach out and, and slow them down a little bit. Maybe pull them back. Yank back on those reins. All right, folks, the next lobby is up. We are jumping in and let's begin. Looks like first kill's already out on uh, TBG Dog. Canadian Plumber managed to get that one, folks. Let us begin. Round number one. Wow. Everybody loves a nice, quiet game deck where there's no audio. But you know what you really can get behind, though? Canadian Plumber out here. Canadian Plumber just died, but he's got a solid 3 and one already. This guy's playing serious. He's playing for keeps, just like Mighty Proxy. Okay? Mighty knows, Mighty knows what's going on out here, guys. He knows there's some serious, uh, you know, serious risk happening. I don't know if, I don't know if this is all going to pan out for him, man, but I'd love to see, I'd like to see him trying, you know. I think he's really giving it his go. All right, fellas. So listen, you're going to lose comms on me for just a minute, but I'm going to restart this thing real quick. Let's get some audio. Holy crap, dudes. Are you watching this? Did you guys just see Mighty Proxy's insane gamble there as he held down fantastic offense on this objective? Where is he at on the KDs right now? Six and one, guys. We were there for that action. That was nuts. This guy just smashed out out here, fellas, and the next objective is available in about 13 seconds. But oh, my God, that was nuts. Now, we are going to see a couple of the outcasts in a bit of a pickle here. Bad positioning, bad timing as they take shots there from Danny. Danny and his gang. I 
I haven't forgotten about the mission to get you guys the in-game audio. I don't know if that's working yet. I'm just going to test it out. All right, fellas. All right. So I'm thinking you can hear the game audio now. I'm really hoping you can. It shows it being brought in. If you can't, though, please feel free to uh, absolutely let me know. <clears throat> um, so anyway, we're going to continue on here, folks. We're going to continue on because I don't want you to miss out on this action. There's some seriously great gaming happening right here, and we are going to take a look at the fantastic replay that we just got there a few minutes ago um, as Mighty Proxy went on an absolute rampage. We're watching Hulk here close up and dangerous as he tried to take on Dream Breezy, but him and his teamsies are coming on up here looking for damage to be brought upon the battlefield. Right on board here with the dog. Unfortunately, he does go down, and so did his compadre, Danny, Thanks to the uh, the mighty, mighty accuracy of Disney J. To answer your questions in the chat there, we do have a dual PC set up and uh, oftentimes we got it all working out perfectly. But unfortunately, obviously, today it's given us a little bit of an issue. All right. So what we're watching right now is, is ultimately the slow, steady demise of, uh, of, of one team, uh, at least for this round. Outcasts are on their way down once again. Mind Baker out there managing to drop himself out a double. Hulk Smash and Canadian both hitting the deck courtesy of Mind Baker, and he's going to locate himself that third one. It's Disney J. There goes the fourth one there on the back end. Good grief. This man's nuts. I like a man that takes his gameplay seriously, though. And we continue on here just watching the uh, the absolute devastation happening on the battlefield. Uh, as it finally does reach its demise there, Mind Baker was just doing incredible work there. 16 and 5 overall on the KDs, not too shabby at all. Uh, 1,724 on the overall points as the inner objective now begins to become captured. 94 and 46 so far. Gonna jump back on board with one of the outcasts though, Mr. Canadian. Let's see what's inside the mind of this madman, this Canadian, so to speak. Also, thank you, Superior Wes, for that feedback regarding the uh, the in-game audio. I see that it is not piping through. And that's A-OK, -okay, fellas. That's A-all -okay, right. You don't, don't got to worry about the in-game audio. Good golly goodness, that right there was a was a very spicy shot, if I could say so myself. Uh, now listen, listen, something funny just went down in the back end here, back in the VREL booth. 
I think what we just saw was an absolute domination. And looky there, another couple of grenades coming out, not successfully contacting anybody, but it's just the sheer effort that I appreciate seeing, to be quite honest with you. Just the effort. Dream Breezy and Mighty Proxy. Now on the objective, unfortunately, Proxy does end up going down thanks to the plumber. And then a savage secondary nade flies in there. Unfortunately, it's not the nade that stops him. There was a Hulk smash on the battlefield. And now Hulk is going to be running for his life. The Hulk is now alone with Canadian out here as the last two remaining. And good golly goodness, folks. Good golly goodness. I hate to see it happen. I really do. Uh, looks like one of those did successfully collect us some in-game audio. Looks like it's channel B2. So I do apologize for, uh, for the ugliness of those cameras right there. But I think now that we've got the in-game audio, you guys are going to enjoy this, this, this experience, watching these guys a little bit better. Um, so good. I'm glad that we got that fixed up for you, fellas. We got Proxy out here watching on board with him. Top dog right now for the Havoc team out there with a solid 11 and 6, 3,333. No, 3,332. Damn you, pig. 3,357. Now, uh, doing quite good work on the battlefield, trying to collect himself some points, trying to prove himself to be a team player. And right now, guys, what we are also watching is that domination we talked about before with the solid 91 to 26 on the overall points. It's no wonder why you guys were voting with a 50-50 split earlier, because right now I don't see much of a 50-50 split in the skill factor no it looks like havoc is out here steamrolling over outcasts and yeah i'm saying that in the name of sport i'm just joking with these guys but you know what deep down inside we all know that if these guys aren't getting pushed hard every single week then they are never gonna feel the need to get better and right now outcasts are just being dominated by havoc unfortunately 91 to 10 and here comes the top 10 canadian plumber right now rocking it out there with a solid 12 and 15 1014 on the points overall mighty proxy top dog for his enemy team with almost triple now we are going to continue watching with these beautiful beautiful Fantastic players, Disney J, Wade Merck, Cisco Tech, Hulk Smash, and Canadian. As they attempt to make their names and fames here, every single ticket is going to start to matter. And I want to get on board with Wade. We haven't watched much Wade tonight. You guys ever seen much Wade? No, I, 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 I personally have not. I personally am not a big... I don't, I don't see much Wade out there, but I want to see him. I want to see him out here. Let's see what he's got. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. Unfortunately, he did end up going down, but Dream is not making it easy for anybody. Right now, Dream is hiding behind the dumpster. Okay, he's watching Disney J. He's got two other teammates on his six. I think that they've got this one. Unless Disney and Canadian can pull off some seriously amazing badassery, but unfortunately, they could not. Not gonna actually go down though until somebody picks up those dog tags. Looks like Proxy might be the one to do that. And there you go, folks. Down to the final eight, just like that. Now, Disney J gonna give this a round two, choosing to ignore all dog tags. And finally, hitting the deck. Now, oh my god, Mighty managed to pick up many dog tags. Bringing this puppy down to an 87 to one. And just like this, ladies and gentlemen, it is over. TVG Dog manages to pick up that final kill against Canadian. Let's bring it up to the booth, folks. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's talk about what just happened out there because I just, that was nuts. Crap, dudes, are you watching this? I love that play, guys. That was actually probably my favorite play of the entire second round. Um, that was when he went out there. I believe that was um, 
a six and oh or six and one streak that you just bore witness to guys what we've got right here is delicious nutritious g fuel bringing you energy since 1990 always all you do is you take a little powder you put it into some water you shake the water with the cap closed you drink the water you gain the energy and then you go out there and you slam it down with the best of them in the games that you love like contractors That's how you shut your G fuel like a G. All right, guys, let's go ahead and add that second point up there for Havoc. Havoc causing some serious, serious devastation on the battlefield, folks. Do you realize that? You realize what these clowns are doing? These guys aren't, uh, these guys aren't joking around no more. This ain't no Josh and thing for them. Okay, they're, they're dead ass serious right now. They're serious about their games. You're serious about what's happening. I'm going to center that for you because I'm serious about that too. That's the way it's going to be. Now, folks, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the show. We got loads of people who uh, help make this happen for you. And, um, you know, we, we just wouldn't be anywhere without them. I mean, honestly. So thank you to everybody behind the scenes who helps make this happen, guys. Uh, you know who you are Superior West, Nutmeg. Uh, this uh, proper D for Christ's sake guys every single person out there part of the dream team we're making this thing happen for you my friends now we've got the scores updated one other thing I want you to do is prep yourselves for more amazing excitement as we get ready for round number three it looks like the next map may be coming up here anytime soon so let's take a look at how to be the game
Okay, so fellas, good to know. For some reason, uh, for some reason, the mic did end up getting muted there. I have no idea why, but that's okay. We'll figure that out as well. When I came back from uh, my vacation, well, not really a vacation, but I came back from our business trip to Augmented Worldwide Expo, a few things on the stream had actually started messing up. Uh, and that's just what happens after after a little bit of time. Uh, yeah, I was talking to you guys about a whole bunch of amazing things. Uh, Mighty Proxy was out there giving us a great performance. Uh, a solid 8-1 and one right now, actually, guys. When I was talking to you about him, though, he was doing a 7-0. and zero. Uh, 7 and 0 on the KDs at the time. That was fantastic. Uh, now with a 96-61, to 61, Outcast on the short end of the stick on this one, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are curious to see how things are going to continue to wrap up here in round number three. Now, we do have a couple of honorable mentions. Some new people jumping in. Let's look at Molo. Five and five. Solid one and oh right now. I want to go see what this fella's up to. And, uh, of course, I do see y'all's chats popping up right now, but there is a one-minute delay, so... I do see you, and I appreciate you all. Now, five players down on Outcasts, leaving the entire Havoc team free to run about the map as they see fit. Let's go jump on board with Mighty Proxy once again, now that we've actually got proper comms with the audience, and see exactly whether or not Mighty Proxy can manage the highest kill of this game. 58 right now on the overall points for Outcasts. Very unfortunate for these fellas as Havoc continues to steamroll them. If they can manage to get inside of Havoc's head, though, then they may be able to start slowing him down. See, guys, it's all about momentum. Right now, we seem to have quite a few fantastic players in some fantastic spots here. Proxy up on the second story. Saw you guys asking about what's in the fish tank behind me, by the way. There's certainly not any fish. Uh, it's actually just an empty 30, 30, uh, 35 gallon Bowfront tank and. Uh, we're looking to put, to put some stuff in it here soon. I'm actually, I haven't set it up in a long time or since I've been at this house. And uh, we were actually just talking about setting it up the other day. That's why it's plugged in. Bam Bam, thank you, man, says Mighty Proxy as he ultimately does hit the deck courtesy of Disney J. Disney goes down, though, in a quick trade in the ding dong as Dream Breezy continues the dream. Let's take a look at the overall KDs and scores right now with 11 and 2 for Mighty Proxy. Top dogging it over there for the Havoc team. Not too damn bad if I do say so myself. Mon Baker out there with a solid 8 and 6. Dream Breezy with a 3 and 2. Danny out there 12 and 5. DBG out there with a 9 and 4. Let's talk about the outcast now. Disney J, 6 and 10. Demolo out there solid. Demolishing 7 and 7. Cisco Tech, 4 and 10. Rysau. Rysau. Yeah, I think that's right. 1 and 9. And Zifamri. One and seven overall, fellas. That is your wrap up. And let's look at the tickets right now. 36 and 94 as TBG Dog now moves in to the square. On board with TBG as he locates not just one, but two enemies. Zephan Reed down there on the far side left, not managing to actually pop him off here as Rice Out pushes in. They are both unaware of the fact that more Havoc members will be coming up that same way any darn minute. Actually, looks like Molo is there on the back end to help clean him up. Fantastic time to have Molo on your team. Looking at Mindbaker here, taking a few pop shots. And will that grenade make any sort of contact on that corner? I don't believe so. Wow. Mighty Proxy drops Molo there. Follow-up grenade, not making any contact on that corner, but that's A-OK. -okay. It's all about the effort, folks. And now with the 34 to 91 on the overall points, let's just see what else happens. Now, I have not been able to keep up with you guys in all of the, uh, the, the, the trash talking and stuff like that in the Discord, but listen, I am a big fan of the memes, okay? I'm a huge fan of the memes, the competitive memes where you guys are like dissing each other through meme. That's okay in my book. All right, as long as it doesn't talk about your sister or anything crazy like that, I'm down. Mindbaker headshotting Cisco Tech. They're absolutely taking the prisoners. The prisoners from this man. He's a madman. 13 and 3, Mighty Proxy out there. Solid, solid work by him. Seriously doing some serious, 
hunting on the battlefield right now. We're actually going to run on board with him. Um, if you guys have some of those awesome competitive memes, what I want you to do right now, even if you've posted them recently, I just want you to repost them in the contractor's uh, media channel right here, right now for us to show on the stream. Uh, if you've got them. If you don't got them, then that's A-OK. -okay. We'll just skip the segment. But if you do got them, I want to see what kind of what kind of funny memes you guys have made for this one. If you guys remember before Augmented Worldwide Expo, damn, Mighty Proxy again eliminates. What's he at now? 14 and 3, guys. Not a single more death. Now he's rocking it with a freaking knife. This man's insane. But uh, we were talking about it before we went to Augmented Worldwide Expo that we, we kind of gave you guys a little community challenge. Make some memes. Make them funny memes, baby. And I want to see them. I want you guys to post them. I want to talk about them. I want to look at them with you. I want us to really thoroughly discuss. Anyway, Rice Owl just goes down there, folks. Unfortunate for Rice Owl. Solid 3 and 12 on the overall KDs. It's a negative 4 thus far. And uh, good golly goodness, folks. We're already down to the very end of round number 3. Only 3 points remaining right here and right now it looks like rice Owl is going to be the one who actually manages to down mine baker because i know mine was on a, a good bit of a spree there earlier 14 as well on the points i mean on the kds now tpg dog does down zay from me and uh tpg dog does down disney j looks like he's on a little bit of a streak right now i'm really curious to see what rice Owl has got though D uh, damn dog does go down thanks to molo get on board with mole see what he's up to over here it looks like he's gonna have a little bit of a journey ahead of him uh, now, whether or not he's going to be the last one to spot some danger, that I don't yet know. I would I would actually be more willing to bet that somebody closer to the objective would. Let's see exactly what happens here. TBG Dog, not able to find that last enemy just yet, but he is close. Disney J, Z Fenri, and Disney J. Boy, both of these fellas are really hanging on. Molo not letting go just yet, guys. Now every single member of Havoc is dead. Outcasts have the entire field open to them right here, right now, to take that objective back. Zifenri rocketed it with his sniper out. Guys, I think, I think Outcasts aren't done here. It's uh, it's two to eighty-seven. They were at two to ninety-eight one minute ago. Two to ninety-eight. Okay, do you realize what a freaking good golly goodness. 2 to 98. They had 98 of their enemies tags they had to take. And now they are down to 87. They've got one ticket left. I believe in outcasts. I want to see them chip away at them further like they are doing right now. They're doing actually amazing stuff right now. They're working with their back against the wall. They're not sticking their necks out. Not uh, giving up too much cover. Although, granted, you see a couple of them here giving up cover now. This go tech making a very, very dangerous journey there. Nearly paying the ultimate price for it. Mighty Proxy tosses a grenade in. Nails down Z Fenri on the back side. And now Cisco Tech going to try his luck here. Guys, will they be able to hold off on the offending team? The answer is no. Oh, and that's the last dog tag as Disney J goes down. Dream Breezy there picks him off. And that is 0 to 74 in round number three. Trace, bring us on up. All right, fellas, so listen, you're going to lose comms on me for just a minute, but I'm going to restart this thing real quick. Let's get some audio. Holy crap, dudes, are you watching this? Good golly, guys, good golly. That was nuts. That was nuts. Just like that, Havoc has won three rounds in a row. Only one round left for these fellas, these madmen of the battlefield. And uh, got, got the owner right there, or not the owner, but uh, the fellow who's helping us get this game casted for these guys tonight, DMing us there, let us know that they're getting every, th everything running for us. That's fantastic. Now, fellas, lady fellas, I did just hear a whole bunch of storming start outside the window. Oh, hey, the wife's here. Okay, thanks. 
Guys, what we were just in fear of just got brought to our attention. There's a very bad storm outside. Okay. We're hoping the internet stays alive for the last round. If it doesn't, we will make sure that we, we get all the, uh, the, the shit talking and discording done in the contractor's general chat of VREL. Don't you guys worry about that. Now let's get the score updated for Havoc. There we go. There we go, fellas. So, three and one right now. Havoc and Outcasts, guys. Looks like Outcasts are dealing with some serious, serious firepower. Let's jump down for round number four and let's see what these fellas have to say about things. Let's jump. And just like that, we are back down in the game, guys. They have swapped, to uh, swapped sides, and we are going to see whether or not that manages to make a difference for them. Here we go. Riding on board with Rice right now, ladies and gents, as they get the fourth and final round started. But it's Mind Baker who actually appears to get the very first kill out here. And, uh, oh, you know what, though? That may not have been the very first kill. There may have been just a couple already going, but that's A-OK -okay as mind. Oh, my gosh. Mighty Proxy actually there. <sighs> Fellas, very quick action happening. Let's take a look at the KD so far so we can talk about what's going on. Danny already with a 2-1. and one. Mind Baker pushing in on that immediate spot, getting an immediate kill. 2-0. and zero. Not too bad for the Baker. Unfortunately, does just have a change in luck as Molo absolutely obliterates him here. 2-1. and one. Let's jump on board with Moly. All right, and that's been a ride with Molo. Oh, actually, you know what? That was Baker. Let's get on board with Molo. There he is. No, that's Baker too. What the hell? Trace? Yeah, we got Molo. Thanks to whomever that was that got rid of that bot. Uh, talking about buying stuff as well in the chat. You're the best. Now Molo does obliterate Mighty Proxy before getting pinched himself. Unfortunately, Cisco Tech as well as another were there ready and willing to obliterate Molo. And you see right there what kind of damage a grenade will do if the pin is pulled in and it's executed right in freaking side of your face. We see that can we see that, that that grenade again that was just that was that was juicy look at this guy at the very end of the replay guys look out for this grenade just landing right in the face of this fella see before getting pinched himself unfortunately cisco tech as well as another were there ready and willing to obliterate molo and you see right there what kind of damage a grenade will do if the pin is pulled in and it's executed right in freaking side of the face Can we see that? Can we see that, that that grenade again? That was just that was that was juicy. Look at this guy at the very end of the replay, guys. Look out for this grenade just landing right. Well, well, well. If I have not seen something like this before, then I am an absolute dog of a man. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen things like this. Okay, I've seen players come out here and dominate before. Uh, what I didn't expect is for the final round to actually be a pretty damn competitive round. See, TBG Dog there actually just turns around at the last second and manages to hear the footsteps of Molo. Very unfortunate if you are Molo. TBG Dog now got to continue pushing in here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's take a look at those scores. Where are they at right now? TBG Dog saw 4-3, 296 on points with Mighty Proxy. Top Dog it out there, 1202 on the point, 3-3. Three three. And TBG Dog now choosing to back up away from the objective. He's got his teammates here on the other side. And enemies on the far side. TBG Dog here manages a fantastic flank, downing two of them, leaving Mighty Proxy to get the third. And just like that, folks, Havoc has completely eliminated every single Outcast's member. They are all dead. Nobody is in the game except for all of them now. So what's going to happen next is anybody's game, but uh, what we can see happening right here is TBG Dog facing off a 
against a whole mess of outcasts. Looks like you're gonna have Cisco Tech trying to push down. Unfortunately, just doesn't work out for him. Rice Allen is back in. And now Molo and the gang. Disney trying, Molo trying, all just dying devastatingly. Leaving it all up to Zifeng Ri, who is now gonna be pushing in from the Havoc side. Unfortunately, Rice Out goes down. They've really got this screen on lock. Cisco Tech trying to put down some cover fire as Molo manages across. Getting all the way down here now, ladies and gentlemen, with Disney J, who's trying to push in. Unfortunately, it looks like Havoc has already pushed forward. And now, TBG Dog continues to obliterate one at a time. Let's get on board with Cisco Tech. And TBG Dog eliminates him too. Oh my God, Havoc is now pushing up the street. They're saying no more will we allow outcasts in through this street. This street is shut down for emergency services. Molo, Disney, Cisco, and the gang are gonna try it one more time though. Bryce Sow does manage to down TBG, but it does end up costing him his life as Cisco is there for the refrag on Mind Baker. Disney now finds and damages Danny. And we're on board with Cisco Tech. Looks like Cisco still hasn't given up on this back street option. They are slowly but surely going down, unfortunately. Four outcasts, they are on the bad end of the stick right now in terms of the actual overall points. 70, uh, 70, excuse me, a 60 to a 91. They're about 31 points behind. Be the game, Trace. Be, be the game. All right, folks. All right. Next objective getting spiced up here as Mindbaker and Danny both managed to down a couple of the outcasts. We are now on board with Molo, who's just going for it, guys. Tossing himself out. I believe that was a smoke grenade. And damn. Damn. Danny sent him down. I really thought he had some momentum going for himself right there. Danny gonna chuck that grenade just up here and successfully eliminate Z Fonry. Ladies and gentlemen, a great grenade. He's gonna hear even more of his enemies coming in. Molo goes down thanks to Donnie. I'm real curious here what Mindbaker's got to say about all this. Looks like he wants to chuck himself out a good old fashioned grenade. And oh my God, a fantastic elimination. Wow, that was a perfect grenade if I've ever seen one. Get back on board with the madman. Continues to run about here, folks. Continues to run about almost through the fourth round here. 91 to 40 already. With Molo saying no low to Mindbaker. Headshotting him as soon as he makes an appearance here. Molo attempting to quickly locate TBG Dog. And he does manage to trade with him as Dream Breezy now enters the arena. Z Fenri does not stand a chance there, unfortunately. And Juice Crack once again shoving it down the throats of all the VREL players that he is a god. Juice Crack gifting a subscription. Alex Traeger 1004. Thank you so damn much, brother, for your continued support of the Virtual Reality Esports League. Man, oh man, oh my, oh me, oh moo. I cannot believe it, guys. Thank you so damn much, bro. You are seriously the shits and the gigs. I don't even know what else to say about you other than that you've obviously got the best looking schmeet of the field, man. Thank you so, so, so much. Cisco Tech now actually comes out here and manages to get himself a double. Take a quick look at these scores as almost every Havoc member is dead at the moment. Mighty Proxy out there, solid 10 and 7 on the overall. KD's Dream Breezy 5 to 4. TBG Dog 14 to 8. Mind Baker 9 and 8. Danny 14 and 7. Cisco Tech 10 to 8. Disney J 5 to 12. Z Fan 7 to 10. Molo 7 to 12. Brian Rice Row out there, solid 0 0.5 with a 5 to 10. And his grenade. Nearly. Oh, God, that wasn't Danny's grenade. That was somebody else's grenade. But that grenade nearly proved lethal for Danny regardless. Z Fan Ray! Knows how to chuck him. 
Managed to absolutely obliterate with a double nade there, guys, but unfortunately, it's just not enough to take home a win. It's not. Okay, boys, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but right now, outcasts are looking pretty damn chagrin. 86 to 29 right now. I've cast some of the shit into that stick, folks. This is getting dirty. This is getting nasty. I want to see what these fellas can do. Oh, God. What the... Trace! You took us away from the action. Thank you. We got out of there just in time uh, as it looked like Mighty Proxy actually got a fantastic shot off before Disney J managed to obliterate him from the game. Defonry. Using that bolt action sniper to his advantage, already eliminating TBG Dog there with a very quick location and execution. Usually you see Superior West out here, guys, using that bolt action. Going for glory. I want to see if Zifan Lee can compete with this Mezior West. <laughs> Looks like he's going to take some shots here. Try to light him up. Try to light him up. Danny. Does get obliterated in the face due to Z Fan Lee's fantastic, fantastic bolt action rifle there. He does actually manage to take a little bit too long and does cost himself his own life, but that's a okay. Mistakes were made. Things happen. Now, it looks like Mighty throws out that grenade of destiny, not going anywhere fast though. Ooh! And it's too bad that was just a decoy. Because that would have done some serious, serious damage. Coming down into the what could be the very final stretch here. And Rindham talking about the fact that every time he plays Foundry, he gets flashbacks to his quad kill on Factory versus us. Oh man. Yeah, I you know, I've yet to see Foundry. Go very crazy. But I believe it's possible. I think I think he's got something hidden inside. What do you think? We got any predictions going on? And here comes the offense. Proxy going for it before finally getting brought down there by Cisco Tech. Cisco Tech says, nah fam. You aren't going to make your way on over here and stuff in such a things. No. He's not going to allow it. Cisco Tech continuing to hold down his defensive position here. Guys, 23 tickets remaining for outcasts. They want to play defensively. They got to be careful here. Otherwise, Havoc's just going to take it all from them. They can't let him do that. There it is. Cisco Tech lies in wait against TVG Dog until finally managing to beat him at the game. Eliminating him. And just like that, folks, everything has changed. TVG Dog throws himself out of the grenade of destiny. Will it turn out to be in his favor? No. Falling just shy there, in fact, guys. We are continuing on over towards the objective, but we're catching up now with Rysal, who does immediately go down thanks to TBG Dog. Very, very, very unfortunate timing for Rice, as he was just trying to make his way on over to the battlefield. Dream Breezy, already here, willing to help shut down any other people who decide to come on through. Havoc not making it easy today for Outcasts, but Outcasts standing up for themselves here at the very end. And that, that I like to see. Uh, they're not going down without so much of a fight. Last round, they almost got completely knocked out. I mean, it was like a 98 to, uh, to 2 at the very end there. But you know what? You know what? I like to see them fight. I like to see outcasts kicking and screaming here. They're saying, nah, we aren't done yet. Just because it's the formal, it's the final round, it doesn't mean that we're just going to stop. We aren't going to roll over and just die. We are going to fight till the bitter end and show everybody back at home who came here for a good damn game what we are here for. 
Isn't that right? Let's take a look. It's Mighty Proxy, uh, Mighty Proxy already out there with a 17 and 12. Not too damn shabby for himself. But Cisco Tech, the true MVP right now. Cisco rocking it and cocking it. 19 and 14. Unfortunately, it does go down due to TPG Dog there on the back end. But TPG Dog now is going to have to face off with a couple of others. Let's go ahead and see exactly what kind of competition he's going to be facing inside of this marketplace. Looks like the answer is going to come from behind him. And he was ready for him. Getting a quick headshot into Disney J there. Golly darn. Golly darn, ladies and gentlemen. Rysal managing a fantastic trade here. And Z Fenri now picks up the slack. Dream Breezy actually chilling out here on the far side for Havoc. Looking to make their name and fame here as they chuck a couple of grenades into quite a well-known position and successfully eliminate Z Fenri. Danny now pushing in. Unfortunately, Disney J was there ready to talk him out of it. And a very great grenade right there by Disney J. He almost anticipated his own death and tossed that grenade within the killing distance for himself. Never quite seen that tactic used competitively. All right, folks. All right, Cisco Tech. Still not taking no for an answer. Mine Baker. Pushing in here, guys. Let's take a look at these scores so far. Proxy Moxie out there with a solid 18 to 13, 4,689 for Mighty Proxy. Now, Dream Breezy, second place out there, 10 to 11, but TBG Dog right now, true MVP, 26 to 14 on the KDs. Not too damn shabby. Oh my god, guys, just like that, it's over. It just jumped. It just jumped. TBG Dog got so many kills and then finalized his gameplay right then and there in the air. You see it, you heard it, you synced it here first, folks. Let's bring it on up to the big cam. Dudes, every single game is won and lost on a ticket scoring system, okay? That's the way this works. You get out there, you kill your enemies, you collect your dog tags, and you go home. And what I did not expect at the very, very final few moments there was for these players to go from 16 tickets all the way down to zero tickets in almost no time. It's Madhouse and Outcasts, guys. Outcasts absolutely played their hearts out there in that last round. And I love to see that. I have mad respect to them for that. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'll be a son of a gun if Havoc didn't come out here and spank some bottoms tonight. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I also want to thank Outcasts for actually coming out here because every single game would not be possible without players such as yourselves. Guys, you're the real reason we are here. And um, I don't want you to ever forget that. Now, guys, of course, as always, we have many, 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 many amazing people that make these streams possible, and I just wanted to take a moment to recognize a few of them. So, thank you so much to Proxy Matt, of course, Mamet, of course, Caveman Studios, a uh, lot of theirs fan freaking fantastic. Phoenix Community Capital, uh, we got Nine Line, we got B Haptics, we got G Fuel, of course, always loading up with some G Fuel, and of course, Degenerate Decals, who make our dreams come true when it comes to beautiful banners, guys, and stickers, I mean. When it comes to beautiful stickers, they make some fan freaking fantastic custom stickers. Now, that's about all I've got to say about this beautiful show tonight. So I hope everybody has enjoyed this show. Um, I hope the Havoc versus Outcasts game was everything that you were dreaming of. I wanted to see some memes in the Discord, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I didn't see anybody post. A say oh, 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 I do see a meme. Okay, all right, King Games. King Games dropped us a meme here. Guys, let's go see what King Games' meme looks like here for Virtual Reality Sports League. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't proved this one yet. I'm, I'm trusting you here a little bit. I don't know if that's worth it. Let's see. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna check it out. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> All right, guys, take a look at this. Wait for my monitor to 
Come back on over here and I'll show you guys this little meme this guy has made. It's so fantastic. I love when you guys make these little memes. There you go. Uh, give me a moment. My monitor's freaking out on me. There we go. There we go, fellas. Get you that the right size here for you. All for an eight second meme. Come on, pig. <laughs> All right, guys, check out this awesome meme, community-made meme. I love to see shit like this. Let's do it. Uh, come on! What the fuck? <laughs> guys, jeez Louise. All right, guys, community-made meme submitted by King. Finally, thank God, here we go. Are you shitting me? Hold on. Trace, take us down to the game. Game style. There we go, folks. There we go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, 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 right. Totally worth it. This is totally worth it. Don't you worry. This is eight seconds of your life that that was well worth the last minute. Guys, look at this meme. Community made. Just up here and successfully eliminate Z Fonry. Secure the point. Point captured. I see four moving on objective. I've got them. Three flankers coming in. North side. No, they are not. Four targets down. Two hostiles on point. I'm on it. There's still one more on it, capping. Nicely done, team. Get ready. Next round. I'm coming for the throne. Is this thing on, Trace? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name's Pig. Pig on PC and 4K here with Virtual Reality Esports League. Bringing you the 6th, 8th, 2022th games between Havoc and Outcast. Guys, gals, ladies, fellas, everybody. I was saying thank you all so much for being here uh, for not just the games, guys, but also I wanted to say the future of virtual reality sporting events is being shifted and shaped by what we are doing here today. 
Um, we're going to talk a lot more in the Discord about how Virtual Reality Esports League as a company, as a uh, standard, and as a league for your favorite games uh, is going to be shaping that future. I can't spill too much right now, guys, but I want you to understand the fact that you being here uh, today, every single time we go live, every single time you post in the Discord, uh, you're, you're a part of that community. Uh, and I am not joking when I tell you that we have such amazing stuff in the pipeline right now. Um, in fact, when we get done with this, I'm going to start working on some of that um, because, guys, the world is shifting and Virtual Reality Esports League is going to be right there at the front of it. Um, now, with that being said, uh, thank you so much to King Games for submitting that awesome community meme from Contractors. I want you guys to use that as some homework. Go ahead and make yourself some other memes. We'll share them with you next time we stream. And um, also, thank you so much to Juice for the subscriptions, brother. You are fan flippity tastic. Guys, I want you all to have a fantastic rest of your night, a fantastic rest of your day tomorrow, and I will catch you all for the next Legend stream personally uh, tomorrow night for some casual gameplay. And I cannot wait to cast another virtual reality esports league game for you. Have a great one, folks. Good night.